and you tell them one thing. Just win, baby. It's because you're not feeling oozy. So some breaking news. Early on today, Tom Brady announces his retirement from the NFL, posting this clip on social media. Good morning, guys. I'll get to the point right away. I'm retiring for good. Now this news definitely shakes up a lot of things. As you guys already know, the Raiders are moving on from their Pro Bowl quarterback, Derek Carr. But the main guy we've all been talking about replacing him here in Las Vegas has been Tom Brady. Whether you liked it or not, I know there was a clip out there where, you know, Max Crosby came out and he was even open to playing with Tom Brady. I would love to have Tom Brady. Oh. I don't know how that could be controversial. That it's can fucking be. Tom Brady. Yeah, it's Tom Brady. Sure. As a leader, as a fucking player. As the GOAT. As the GOAT, fuck yeah. I would love to play with Tom Brady. Bro. If he can to, if come to Vegas, bro. Have you met him? I'll fucking I'll fly. I'll go to wherever he's at to introduce myself. The level of respect I got for him, bro, is out this world. So, yeah, I would love to have Tom Brady. But we'll see. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. But even though we talked about Tom Brady so much these past couple of weeks, that doesn't mean that he was the only option for the Raiders. There's always a plan B. Now, there are some realistic and logical options that the Raiders can go with moving forward at their quarterback position. The first name being A.A. Ron Rodgers. I mean, going out and trading for Aaron Rodgers would be, I, I feel like, the best option for the Raiders right now. You go out and get a veteran quarterback that could come over here and play with Devontae Adams. Uh, the only thing that really worries me is how much would it cost. Obviously, the Raiders would have to give up some draft compensation, and I don't know if I would be open to doing that. You know, two first-round picks or something in that nature, or maybe trading somebody away like a Darren Waller, Hunter Renfro, and a couple of picks. Who knows? I just know that if the Raiders want to move forward with a veteran quarterback Aaron Rodgers is at the top of that list and if we do get him that means that the Raiders are in a win now mode but to add on to the Aaron Rodgers hype to Las Vegas just a couple of minutes ago while I was recording this video Devontae Adams posted a story literally a story of Aaron Rodgers throwing the ball to him and adding literally now I don't know how else you would want to take that but you know, with Tom Brady just recently announcing his retirement, I think Devontae Adams, who I believe has some say in who the next quarterback for the Raiders could be, is kind of hinting off who his favorite option would be. So Aaron Rodgers to Las Vegas, that might be a possibility for sure. We've seen Dave Ziegler and Josh McDaniels go out there and be real aggressive and getting the guy that they know that they want to get. Last season, they did that with Devontae Adams trading away a first and second round pick. And this year, we'll see. Like I said, I don't know if we want to give up that many picks for uh, uh, Aaron Rodgers, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. All I know is that if we some way, somehow do get an Aaron Rodgers here in the silver and black with Devontae Adams and the weapons that we do have here, AFC West better watch out, man. They better watch out. Another option that I favor a lot right now, especially with Tom Brady retiring, is us going into the draft and getting our quarterback of the future. And the only quarterback that I could think about is getting C.J. Stroud. There's been a lot of draft, a lot of mock drafts out there having C.J. Stroud falling down in the draft. Even though that can happen, it is kind of unlikely with all these other teams wanting a quarterback and possibly moving up for a quarterback. So I, I would say having the Raiders move up a bit in the draft to go and get their guy. We have like about what? 10 11 draft picks in this year's draft so moving up really wouldn't be a problem for the raiders you get a young guy like cj stroud you build around him with even more weapons on the offensive side and the defensive side of the ball and i feel like we should be okay moving forward so i mean you got aaron Rodgers, you got cj stroud or any of these other top quarterback prospects i'll probably be okay with now the last option is obviously going into free agency and if you look at the free agency market right now there's not really that many quarterbacks other than lamar jackson lamar jackson Jackson's at the top of the list, and I would love to have Lamar Jackson on this team. Again, the only thing that I'm really worried about is that high price that he's going to be demanding in the open market. So then you look at other names that we could possibly get, and one realistic name that I've been talking about that I've been open to, but not my number one option, has been Jimmy Garoppolo. Now, I know a lot of you guys hate hearing that name, but it definitely is an option for the Raiders to move forward. Or the last option the Raiders do have is bringing back Jared Stim, not to be a backup 
But to be the quarterback moving forward and, you know, also bringing in a rookie quarterback and whatnot, but having Jared Stedham be that guy moving forward throughout the season, we've seen a lot of flashes of how well he can play and maybe giving him a full offseason as a starter can give him that confidence that he needs to go out there and be that guy. He can make all the right throws out there. He can run the ball. There's a lot of things that he does need to fix here and there, but who knows? He could possibly be the next franchise quarterback for the Raiders. So yeah, I I'm always open for the steady season all season long. <laughs> the only problem with that is the fact that I know Mark Davis wants to move forward from Derek Carr with a much more flashier name here in Las Vegas. You got to sell seats. You got to sell this to the players in the locker room that we have a franchise quarterback moving forward, even if it's a veteran quarterback for one or two seasons. And Jerry Stidham, sorry to say, he doesn't really have the biggest name out there. But we'll see. With Tom Brady out the door, with Tom Brady off the list, which quarterback would you guys want the Raiders to go and get as the next guy does the Raiders go out and trade for an Aaron Rodgers or do we go into the draft and get our guy and CJ Stroud or do we go into free agency and get one of these quarterbacks in the open market Raider Nation let me know your thoughts on this it is still crazy that Tom Brady would announce his retirement right now I understand that he wants to go back to his family that he might have lost the love for football especially this last season you never know if he's going to pull out that Brett Favre card and come back out of retirement and play again who knows but as far as right now there are a couple of options for the Raiders so again let me know your thoughts down in the comments below now some other news i did want to talk about our former quarterback Derek carr so it looks like Derek carr will be playing one final game as a raider well kind of as of today news broke out that Derek carr has been named to the 2023 pro bowl oh, shit. I, I guess they just be adding anybody to the pro bowl nowadays i mean look at this jabroni right here <laughs> am i right all jokes aside y'all uh, the nfl did officially announce the afc pro bowl quarterbacks for this year's pro bowl those quarterbacks being trevor lawrence Derek carr and tyler huntley how anywho big congratulations to my boy Derek carr now he'll actually get a chance to rep the silver and black one last time in the legion stadium before he goes and finds a new team this coming off season now he did post something funny on instagram you know kind of having a little bit of joke about this saying thankful for a fun ending to a crazy year maybe this was just lost in the mail from recent years we will take it onto the Pro Bowl, hashtag number four. Now this is actually Derek Carr's fourth appearance in the NFL Pro Bowl, which is not too bad for a Raiders quarterback. You know, in the nine seasons that he's played for us, four of those seasons, he's went to the Pro Bowl. Now there's some seasons that he should have been in there, some seasons it didn't really matter, but hey, it is what it is. But Derek Carr ain't the only one repping the silver and black. He's gonna be joining four other players that will be going to the Pro Bowl this season. Those players being wide receiver Devontae Adams, defensive end Max Crosby, running back Josh Jacobs, and Hunter AJ Cole. Not that bad for a 16-11 team, right? I mean, we got five Pro Bowlers on the roster right now. I felt like we could have won a lot more games, but you know what? That's besides the point. You know, at least we get to see Derek Carr play one more time in the Legion Stadium. Heck, we could possibly see him go out there, win a throwing competition, or maybe throw one more touchdown to his buddy, his former teammate, Devontae Adam. That would be nice, right? Now, I know that there's a lot of questions going around right now about Derek Carr and his contract. I know how awkward it might be for Derek Carr to be in the Legion Stadium playing, representing the Raiders, even though the Raiders didn't want anything to do with him for the past couple of weeks and whatnot. But hey, he's still going to be repping the shield. Now, the funny thing is, in his contract, if he does go into the Pro Bowl games this weekend plays and he ends up getting injured, you know, knock on wood. I mean, it's it's a flag football game, but hey, anything is possible. Then the Raiders would have to pay Derek Carr his 2023 salary, and I don't know if they would want to do that. So for the fans out there really worried about this, don't, don't worry too much about it. Nothing's going to happen. Derek Carr's going to go out there, do his thing, and we're just going to have a good time and whatnot. I, I kind of find it funny that, you know, the Raiders really never posted Derek Carr these past couple of weeks. And then all of a sudden today on the Raiders Instagram page, and I'm pretty sure on Twitter, they posted Derek Carr congratulating him on being a Pro Bowl quarterback. All of a sudden, Derek Carr exists, right? <laughs> At least you could say that Josh McDaniels coached up two Pro Bowl quarterbacks in back-to-back -back years. You know, last year with Mac Jones and now this year with Derek Carr. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. Now, I understand the Pro Bowl doesn't really mean much. I mean, this season is going to be a flag football game, but it's good to see that some of the Raider players finally got some kind of recognition. So with that said, I'm actually excited to see Derek Carr play one more time in the Legion Stadium as the quote unquote Raiders quarterback, Pro Bowl quarterback, because uh, I'm actually going to be out there at a Legion Stadium for Pro Bowl weekend. So if you guys are going to be at the stadium, look out for your boy. Come say what's up, man. I'm just going to be there to have a good time. And I'm actually interested in seeing how this 
flag football game is going to end up. But what are your thoughts, Raider Nation, on Derek Carr making the 2023 Pro Bowl? Do you guys think the Raiders are making the mistake of letting go of a Pro Bowl caliber quarterback? Or you think it's a good thing for the Raiders and the Raider Nation to see him off one last time before he goes on to a new team? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Now, to add on to the Derek Carr saga, I know a lot of people have been saying that Derek Carr shouldn't want to be traded, shouldn't want to go out there uh, and help the Raiders out by being traded, even though I've been telling you guys so many different times that it actually helps Derek Carr a lot more than you know being released from the team a, a report came out today from Albert Breer I seen it on Raider Scouts Instagram uh if you guys aren't following uh Raider Scout go and follow my guy but this is what Albert Breer had to say quarterback Derek Carr prefers to be traded by the Raiders instead of a flat out release one of the biggest reasons as Breer states is the ability for a trade to save face for Carr the optics would look better for Carr if he's traded Burr added. Now that is a big report because it really shows that Derek Carr wants to be the good guy in this whole situation and he is basically forgiving the Raiders for what they've done these past two weeks even though he disagrees with it and whatnot even though his brothers are out there acting like a bunch of jabronis Derek Carr is being the better man here at the end of the day it does help him but it really shows you what kind of man this dude is and you know what a lot of respect for Derek Carr for you know having to go through this whole thing and having to put up with everything even though this dude is hurt in this whole situation I mean he's a pro bowler at the end of the day he's a Raider he's going to be able to go out there and play one more time like i said in the legion stadium in front of some of the raider nation that will be in attendance so like i've said before many many times man i got a lot of respect for Derek carr and i wish him nothing but the best in his future team we just got to figure out who our next quarterback is going to be since tom brady retired yeah all right raider nation that's all i have for you guys today in this video so if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to smack that like button and if this is the very first time you can cross my channel and you love the las vegas raiders then hit that subscribe button hit that notification icon but just to notify you guys when I upload more videos just like this. Until the next video, just your boy, some more Raider in your boys. Yeah. Started off in Oakland, now we here. Now we here. Thought that we was done, we just hit another gear. Look, started off in Oakland, now we here. Now we here. Hey, pull up with the nation in the silver black gear. Look, four games straight, we in the playoffs.